Okay, when I last left you, we were on the verge of statistical disaster. Uh, if you remember, we had run a couple of novas. Um, I think one one had an interaction, one didn't. But regardless, the sum of squares here for hand was not the same. And according to what we've been learning, it, it should be the same. Um, regardless of what other, whatever else you put in the model, the residual sub sum of squares will change. But the total will stay the same, and the sum of squares for any main effect will stay the same. So hand here is 616. Uh, here we see it's 1213. And making matters even worse, when we did calculate it by hand, we got 1119.7. So let me explain what was happening. Um, we did take a peek and, and see that one of Ike's values uh, was missing. When I went to the original data, it turns out he had gotten a zero, or at least recorded a zero on that. Uh, and then it hit me that at some point along the line, in our data, missing data, we had counted zero as a missing data point for some other thing we were analyzing. And that carries across, even though that wasn't this data set, uh, JASP remembers your preferences for missing values. Um, so that once we take that out of missing values, it allows Ike to have that zero. And notice now that the sum of squares for hand is 1119.704, um, which matches uh, nicely with what we have here. This is just rounded decimal places. So that's, that's exactly the same now. So that just leaves one more question. Um, why was this hand sum of squares not equal to this, uh, and it, 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 again, we didn't have the interaction term, I think, in this one. So let me just take it out there real quick. Um, so what was going on there was there are different types of sums of squares. So there's three, three main types. Uh, and Essentially, what's happening is the very first thing we take the sum of squares of, it'll take it exactly like we were calculating it, just kind of the raw sum of squares. The next one, even though our book, again, does that raw method, um, there's different types of squares that use conditional probability. So it, it depends on what's already in the model and adjusts for that, and then it looks at the sum of squares. So it's all about how the probability itself is is set up, what we're what we're actually studying. Um, so this, even though it doesn't have the interaction term here, if we were to put in hand first, uh, notice even just with one one. Uh, factor there, we get that 1119.704 uh, that we calculated in the spreadsheet here. So all is well again in the world. And now we just need to learn a little bit more about those three varieties of, of sums of squares.